Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? We are in Fort Wayne, Indiana and this is part two of our Fort Wayne uh, adventure. And this one, we're just gonna drive around and just see some wacky things in uh, in Fort Wayne that we just thought, I don't know, a little interesting, a little fun, a little you odd. Should have just shot that guy that just walked by. I with know, the right? Gun. I should have. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a gun show going on at this campus, uh, uh, this the auditorium the, at the arena, and uh, this guy just like walks by us with a gun and <laughs> out in the open, uh, but he just came from the gun show. So, all right. Gun Here's the gun show right here in this car. Gun show. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's just some wacky and fun oddities and roadside oddities uh, in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. So here's a fun thing. Look at this. This scrap metal mariachi band <laughs> at Cabello's Mexican Grill. Look at them. They're fantastic. We'll drive around. There's some on the other side, too. And here's the other side of them. They're the, on the other side of the sign. More of a mariachi band. Wow, how fun. Those are kind of cool. Scrap metal mariachi band. A very gold car. Did you see that? It's like a Hot Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a limited edition Hot Wheels. Yeah, like a limited edition <laughs> Hot Wheels. Look at that gold car over there. Holy smokes. I decided to get out of the car and take a quick peek at them. You guys are pretty cool, man. <laughs> so we are at the Gateway Plaza, and we are at the site of the world's largest bowling pin. Right there, at Pro Bowl West. This thing is humongous. Yeah. We, so it makes you sad? It does make me sad. Why does that make you sad? Because I won't be bowling this year. Yeah. Because we decided of, against it. Because of all the coronavirus stuff. So, oh, bummer. Yeah, we don't want to be in the... Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay. World's largest bowling pin. We found it. On to the next oddity. And oddity number three is at the old Sunbeam Bread Factory. Look at this awesome sign. It is the never-ending loaf of bread. Look at that. And this thing is gigantic. It even says giant right on it. Nom, 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 nom. And here we come up to oddity number four and probably one of my favorite stories. This is the monument to Bird Boy. There he is, right up there. So the monument to Bird Boy. Who was Bird Boy? Well, uh, his name was Arthur Smith, and Arthur Smith had a fondness for flying. Back in the day, this all that you see here, well, you see Becky's taking pictures of birds. Um, but back in the day, this was a golf course. And this is where Arthur Smith took, took his first flight uh, in a homemade plane uh, based off of the Wright Brothers plane. So he built a plane, he built several planes. And the reason he built several planes is because he kept crashing them. <laughs> Well, he even met his wife uh, uh, during a flight, uh, and after that, crashed a plane. Uh, they got married, uh, and then they were going to fly somewhere. Uh, he crashed that plane. Uh, let's just say he probably wasn't the best pilot in the entire world. Of course, this was in the early days. She didn't even need a pilot license. It was all kind of trial and error stuff. Well. He wound up getting a job with the U.S. Postal Service, airmail, one of the very first airmail delivery people. So he would fly cross-country uh, delivering mail to people. 
and one faithful day in 1926, he crashed for the final time. But here in his hometown of Fort Wayne, Indiana, they resurrected this monument on the spot where he took his very first flight. And they turned the golf course into just a park. So that is the story of Bird Boy. And uh, on the monument, they, they do have a monument here. And it says, erected in memory of Arthur R. Smith, pioneer aviator who gave his life in U.S. airmail service by the citizens of Fort Wayne, A.D. 1926. And the funny thing is, you see this plane right here? That's actually the type of plane that Lindbergh flew in, but he never flew in that kind of plane. It was the predecessor to that plane. When he crashed his plane, that plane didn't even exist. Uh, but yeah, so he was kind of the early Lindbergh of his time. Um, and uh, But here's, here's the monument. It is very tall. And above it adorns a man with wings. Bird Boy. Just wanted to get one more shot of this fantastic monument to Bird Boy. Look at him, he's fantastic. Now let me get a more still shot of him. There we go. And that is Bird Boy. Vivi found this arched stick and scared me half to death when I turned around. And there she was, <laughs> poised to shoot me like a bow and arrow. And with that red hair, she could be brave. <laughs> <laughs> Are those your new glasses? <laughs> we have to be very quiet. Becky is stalking birds. <laughs> Look, it's a marshmallow farm. Look at all the marshmallows. Wow. You never see marshmallows in the wild like this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty. So this next site that we are at is a statue of Lincoln. However, it is a statue of Lincoln that you normally never see. And the reason it is here is because he was born in Kentucky, but he was, he was raised and grew up most of his life in Indiana. And so this is a statue of the boyhood Lincoln and his dog. Abraham Lincoln came to Indiana in 1816 when but seven years old. Upon becoming of age in 1830, he migrated to Illinois. But this statue by Paul Manship portrays Abraham Lincoln as a Hoosier youth. And there he is, the boyhood, or the boy, Lincoln with his dog Fido. And uh, this is in front of the Lincoln National Insurance Company. Uh, the insurance company that is sitting behind actually financed this statue to celebrate the young Hoosier. It's very, very cool. All right, I believe this is oddity number five. Okay. And we are at the Hanson, what is it? The Hanson Ardmore Quarry. It is the deepest quarry, um, or one of the deepest quarries in the United States. They call it the Grand Canyon of the Midwest. And you're about to see why. We are at an observation desk deck, and we are about to go up there so we can look right oh. down inside the quarry. That sounds like an incline. Just, it's only like 12 steps. You'll be alright. Maybe 15. Alright, right, so Vivian and Becky are going to go on up. 
So the Hansen, it's like a Heidelberg Cement Group. Ardmore Quarry welcomes you to our observation tower. This is pretty darn cool that they have this. So let's go on up. For 17 steps. 17 steps, I'm sorry. I was too off. <laughs> Let's go up and check out and see how deep this thing really is. Wow! This is pretty darn cool. That is one big hole. Look, it goes way, way over there. But I like the conveyor belt that's bringing rocks up. Get a shot of that. There we go. There's a turkey vulture over there. Let's see if I can get a shot of him. There he is. I think I just. Yeah, there he is. But I do have to say that this is very. Very impressive. So I believe right now they're at something like 11,000 feet down and it gets deeper every single day. Yeah, they're gonna <laughs> Before they know it, it's going to be just molten lava coming up because they've hit the core of the earth. <laughs> And these are, right in the parking lot, these are some rocks that came right out of this big old hole. Hi, Viv. Hi. So we have got one more oddity to go. I thought we were gonna have three vlogs, but we're only gonna have two because we were gonna go to a museum and then uh, found out the museum is closed because of the coronavirus. Um, and that was about uh, that was about the only place that we were thinking about going inside but we even even if they weren't closed we were thinking eh, maybe not a good idea so trying to be safe yeah but we do we are going to plan another trip to Fort Wayne because we got to see this museum uh, that we are, that we didn't see this time and Becky that botanical saw, conservatory I yeah. gotta go in yes and it looks amazing but once again because of the coronavirus that is closed as well so let's go on to our uh, our last uh, site. I'm just looking at all these turkey vultures. Look how many of them. There's like You're, 50 of them up there. This is crazy. I don't even know if you can see them or not, but they're just flying all over the place. This is so cool. Okay. So our last roadside oddity for this trip to Fort Wayne is at the Fort Wayne Air National Guard. This is the 102nd Fighter Wing. Uh, One, 22nd. Oh, 122nd. Sorry, what did I say? 102nd. 102nd. So 120. Uh, 122. So, yeah, 122. So anyway, they've got some uh, some jets on display here, and uh, and a Humvee. So let's take a look at some of these jets. This is pretty cool. Humvee site is under restoration. Completing date? Oh. Oh, completion date. So apparently <laughs> it was 1st. completed seven years ago. Yeah. Got so, it. but there it is. Look at this one over here. And I like the way the walkways are like runways. <laughs> the way they've got them. But this is a future display. Look at all of these jets. Oh, Wonder Woman's jet. <laughs> it's right here. That's the invisible jet. That's awesome. Little do people know that she uh, flew an F-51D Mustang. <laughs> it's invisible. And it does. It looks just like Wonder Woman's jet. <laughs> so this here is an F-80 CT 33A Shooting Star by Lockheed. Wow, this is awesome. What's Kev, what, what's Gage's dance? Look, I just took a picture of Vivi look, looking like she's throwing it. 
like a big paper airplane. Will you shut up? Next plane up is an F-86A Sabre. This was used from 1956 to 1958. It's an F-84F Thunderstreak, and this was in use from 1958 to 1971. Very beautiful planes. Ooh, look at this one. My goodness. And this is the one that came after that one right there. Uh, this is the F-100 DF Super Sabre. And this was in uh, use from 71 to 1979. Oh, here comes, there's Vivi, or uh, Vivi, there's Becky. Gonna take one of her special laying on the ground shots. So this is the plane that Becky was just uh, shooting. And it is an F4C-E Phantom II. And this was in use from 79 to 1992. Thought we were going to get a shot right down the, the engine or the tail, but it's, uh, it's blocked off. But this, before I even look at the sign, I think it's an F16. It's a, is it an F-16, Viv? F-16 what? It's a Falcon. Yeah, but F-16 what? I don't know. Is it a fighting Falcon? F-16C. C, okay. All right, so this is an F-16C fighting Falcon. And this was used between the years of 1991 and 2010. Oh, this has got a cool front end for the black snakes. They make it even look like a like a snake. Yes. No. Just... What? Oh. So this is an A10C Thunderbolt 2. And this is used from 2010 until current times. Even today. This one still flies. Very impressive plane. Look at the gun on the front of this thing. Whew. I would not want that thing to be firing on me. <laughs> Very impressive plane. Just another view of some of the planes. Very cool park. Yes, indeed. That is very cool. You don't really get up close to planes like this. Yeah, you know, yeah, this is not an everyday thing to be able to walk up to things like this. Be able to lay under one and take a picture. <laughs> But we just span the years from 1950 all the way through current time. Isn't that amazing? And here's the most impressive one of all. This is the F-14 Kia Rio. Supersonic speeds of up to about 90 miles an hour. <laughs> if we're lucky. Okay, so how did everybody like the oddities of Fort Wayne, Indiana? Oh, they were awesome. They, they were, were fun. They were really fun, weren't they? Yeah. So, uh, like I said, the one that you saw previously, the vlog, that was uh, Johnny Appleseed grave site. Mm -hmm. And then this one was just all the oddities. Like I said, we need to come back. We will come back for the museum and um, and for the conservatory. Yeah, right? the Botanical Conservatory. The botan yeah. It was so cool. 
it looked so cool. So we will definitely come back for that. So what was your favorite one of the oddities? <laughs> um, wait, what did we see? Uh, I, <laughs> I like the Lincoln statue. Lincoln statue. The Lincoln boy, the boy statue. Mariachi band. Mariachi yeah. band. The, oh, I, I like the, the Wonder Bread, uh, the Falling Bread. The, the sunbeam, yeah, the yes. sunbeam, oh, yeah, bread. Wasn't that was cool. Yeah, I like this. I like the one we just finished up with the planes. And I also like the. Um, I thought that one was Corey. Cool. Yeah, Corey the, was the cool. Corey was. I think they were all just. They were just all yeah. fun. Uh, the bowling pin and yeah, just all that stuff was really fun. The, so the bird boy. The bird boy. I like that. that, was, that the, That's my favorite story. I mean, yeah. the bird boy story. That was great. So, um, but hope you guys enjoyed tagging along with us today so if you like what you see as always give us a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and we'll see you guys next time on where the heck are the elephants yeah all right bye everyone bye.